Yes. <laughs> it's not working! <laughs> Hey guys, so I have not had the best of luck. Any On Thursday, I went out to a dinner with Erica and Maylin, and I actually ended up getting food poisoning from the sushi I had. And so I was absolutely miserable throwing up, and I was this close to missing my flight and not even coming to Midland entirely. But I powered through and I made it to my flight, and it ended up being delayed by 30 minutes. And so, you know, it's whatever. I, I felt absolutely awful. I, I threw up again on the plane for my food poisoning and motion sickness, and I got over it. Tita Mel and Tita Lorna really helped take care of me. So after that, I got my apartment with a deposit and everything, and I'm here at the airport, and I find out my flight is delayed an hour once again. So I'm having the best of luck. I'm gonna make the best out of it. I'm gonna treat myself because I have a banana with stomach thing, so I'm going to have some coffee, a brownie, and I'm gonna catch up on some vlogging. <laughs> so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So I couldn't really actually vlog all spring break. I was just really tired recuperating from Goodville and all that. But yeah, it's crazy. I'm gonna be graduating soon and uh, everything's going so fast. But until then, Hot and gross. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, look at you! You almost scored. Yeah. I was proud of you. But, you know, it's just to get the disc there. Yeah. So, okay, we're gonna go back to the game. Bye! Hey guys, I'm sorry that a lot of my vlogs have been like this. Me kind of just touching base and talking in my living room, literally, with couch in the background. They all look the same, I feel like. Anywho, I just kind of wanted to talk about where I'm at right now in my life and just kind of how I feel. I actually just came home and finished like a really good Bible study. I don't know, it kind of spurred something in me that made me want to share this on my vlog. Of course, so I am actually finishing my last week of lecture in undergrad and next week is when we are supposed to start our capstone. For those of you who don't know, my capstone is Basically what I like to think of as a nursing internship where you work 120 hours of a nurse's schedule. And after that, I will be graduating and moving to Midland, Texas for PA school. And yeah, it's just, of course, you know, the person that I am, I'm very reflective and just kind of like think about these things. And as happy as I am that I have gotten accepted into a PA school and that I'm finishing nursing school at the same time, it's terrifying. And at times I, I've honestly felt like, like people tend to look at me and say, Christy, honestly, I never see you without a smile on your face. You just seem so busy, but you you know what you want out of life and like you're, you're gonna go places and that's great. But in reality, people don't see the insecurity that I feel. And the past couple of weeks, I've honestly felt absolutely terrified to the bone. How much is going to change in the next couple of months, I'm about to be finished with lecture and just be working in my last month of college. And then after that, I'll be graduating and within less than a month, I'll be starting PA school in West Texas. And then after that, like, Otto Angelica will be moving to Florida and I just honestly feel like everything's coming by fast and it's terrifying. Honestly, one day I, I literally just kind of thought to myself, like this is the last time I'm gonna be in this room in this lecture hall with uh, my classmates. And I just, I realized how fast everything feels like it's changing. And I felt completely lost and just 
started questioning myself on like whether this is really what I want in my life and if I'm ready for this big step and change. When I was in Midland, my uncle was just like, you're gonna have a fun time. Like there's so much that's going to happen with this experience. And it just hit me after that, kind of tying it back to why, why I wanted to vlog. And so I just came back. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned this earlier from Bible study. And we were just talking about how there are those times in your life where you kind of just feel completely abandoned and completely lost with what's going on in our lives but we ought to realize that you know God is there during all these hard times that we have and we just have to open our eyes open our ears and most importantly open our hearts to really listen for God and trust in God and know that he hasn't abandoned us and even though we may be terrified like I feel He's there walking with us each step of the way. And I have to trust in God that I, I got into PA school for a reason and this is his plan for me. And as terrifying as change is that, you know, he has his plans for us and I try not to cry. He has his plans for us and I, I can't be scared. I mean, I can, we're human and it's okay to feel that way. But I have to also reassure myself that God is there each step of the way and that he loves us and he has his plan for us. And I know that this is kind of going on a tangent, but I just kind of want to touch base on that and at least show my future self that even though I'm feeling this now, like it'll be in the past and I'll have gotten wherever I may be at that point. And so I guess going on from this vlog on out, I'm going to be vlogging my last days in the nursing school. And I don't know, just a lot of last moments before I enter a lot of firsts. And so I guess I'll just sign off on that. But yeah, stay tuned. I'm really terrified but excited for the next chapter in my life. I'm excited to share it with you guys to continue vlogging and yeah, I, I guess that's it. <laughs>Today, I just wanted to share this momentous occasion. I have actually finished all of my lecture classes for my nursing curriculum. I just have one.
clinical day left at Seton, and then after that I will be moving on to my capstone. For those of you who don't know what a capstone is, it is kind of what I like to describe as a nursing internship. I'll be following a nurse and working their schedule um, and kind of, you know, just getting all that clinical experience on the unit. For my capstone I got surgical ICU so that'll be very interesting to see. With that being said I'm actually going to meet up with my preceptor who I'll be following for the for these four weeks and I'm really excited but also really nervous at the same time um, just because this is such a big step in our nursing curriculum and it's practically the last step before we graduate and move on to take our boards so I just kind of wanted to share that Obviously, I'm not going to be recording our meeting. It's a professional meeting to discuss what to expect with my capstone experience, etc. But yeah, so I'm about ready to go. I'm going to head there early just so I get there before my preceptor. And yeah, <sighs> so keep me in your prayers. I don't know, there's a lot to come in the following months and I'm really excited to kind of just continue on this journey. But thanks for staying with me on this journey and see y'all soon, I guess. <laughs>